Hey, what is up guys? It is Phantom here and welcome back to a brand new video. So in today's video, we are going to be ranking every single Wisteria professor. And honestly, <laughs> I uploaded a video probably about a month ago. I would say just about a month ago where I ranked every single Ravenwood professor. And actually that video was really well received. I'm not really sure why because I think these videos are shit posts more than anything. But a lot of you people actually do seem to enjoy it. And I guess the feedback was pretty good. So anyway, here I am bringing you <laughs> the Wisteria version of it. Obviously, I think this one's probably going to be a bit shorter. Uh, obviously, I haven't recorded the whole video yet. But I feel like it's going to be a bit shorter because we just don't know as much about each professor as like we do the Ravenwood professors so I don't know anyways regardless hopefully you guys do enjoy and I hope that you guys will leave comments down below telling me your favorite Wisteria professors or how you would rank them or how you changed my list and give me feedback of course anyways let's get into the first professor my most hated professor the one that I just dread looking at every time I quest through Wisteria anyways let's move on to them oh and I actually forgot the schools in Wisteria are actually named different things so like if I go in here, which is obviously the <laughs> the first professor on our list here, this is technically the death school, but it's named, okay, so it's named the School of Spirit. So I guess I would call this the Professor of Spirit. I suppose that makes sense, but coming in at my least favorite Wisteria professor is going to have to be Edna Fulligan. And, <laughs> you know, honestly, in my opinion, she's kind of just the Cyrus Drake of Wisteria. You know, like, I... I don't know what kind of like drag queen attire she has going on here or like what the hell she's doing over here with this 144p resolution ghost. Edna, I'm not really sure what voodoo you're practicing in here, but I'm not a fan. Also, how you you have one of the ugliest classrooms, okay? You have one of the ugliest classrooms in all of Wisteria, which is actually a really, really beautiful world. But when I come in here, just like I I don't know, like I'm just overcome with an extreme amount of depression, you know, and anxiety. I just cannot I cannot handle what's just being put in front of me. Edna, seriously, what the hell are you doing? Like, I I like the color purple. You know, I, I respect your I respect your <laughs> your choice of purple in your uniform and all that, and of course your student's uniform as well, but seriously, what the hell are you doing here? Like, I, I don't know. Also her dialogue, I remember questing through Wisteria a while ago, and her dialogue she was she was basically in essence the Cyrus Drake of Wisteria. And honestly, not a fan, not a fan of your cranky attitude. And overall, you really, really creep me out. Uh, you're a raven. I don't like that immediately. Like, that just that just throws me off guard and everything like that. Yeah, classroom, not a fan. I mean, it's just, like, honestly, I feel like this is the lowest effort classroom probably out of all of the Wisteria professors. Like, they literally just added, like, this dead bush texture for the columns and everything. Of course, each, you know, school has their own columns and everything. But honestly, not a fan of your classroom. Just not a fan of your decor and everything like that. 10 out of 10, would not smash. Anyways, let's move on to the next professor. Coming up next, we have Velma Pepper, who I believe is the professor of... Is it called Equilibrium, I think? I think it's called Equilibrium. I, let me know if I'm getting that wrong in the comments down below. I wasn't paying attention when I walked through the door there, and I'm too lazy to do it again. But anyways, coming up next as the professor of Equilibrium, aka the Balance School, you know, obviously they rename all the schools in Mysteria, is going to be Velma Pepper. Now... <laughs> I don't know why, but, like, out of all the Marleybone dogs, because, I mean, obviously, like, she's from Marleybone, you know, she's got, like, that steampunk look about her. She's also a dog and everything like that. There is just something, like, so punchable. Like, a, like she has such a punchable face. I don't really know how to describe it. Just, like, when you look at her, like, that, that weird-ass hair. Like, I've never seen a dog with hair like that in my life. And that little, like, what the, what the hell is that, Velma? Like, in the back, like, your little hair tie? Ugh, God, fuck, I hate it. Uh, your, <laughs> your classroom... Honestly, not bad. I, I do, you know, kind of like your whole geometry. <laughs> I don't really know how to describe it. Your, your fucking shapes on the columns. Your, your, you know, chiseled out columns and everything like that. Definitely the worst uni uniforms out of every student, though. I, I gotta be honest. I'm not the biggest fan of brown. Like, <laughs> it's not my favorite. I don't even know what this thing is. And honestly, Velma, I'm not sure what you're planning to do with that little... With that little light stick in your hand, I'm gonna, I'm a little bit worried, you know, I'm growing uneasy as, 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 as the longer I stay in here. Oh god. Seriously though, Velma, there is just something, <laughs> there is something that is off-putting about you. There's just something very, very unlikable about you. I think it's your character design. Like, you're just, your weird-ass dog design, I, just the skirt and the, like, one sock, like, one, one boot and then one shoe. Like, what, what does she have going on there? Holy god. Okay, no, I'm done. I'm done. Let's move on to the next professor. Coming up next, we have Thaddeus Price. That Thaddeus Price. I don't really know how to say it. Honestly, I'm so bad at pronunciation. But coming up next, we got Thaddeus here. And Thaddeus, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. That's a bomb ass name. Like 
That is an absolute Chad name. He is an absolute Chad of a professor. Like, look at him. Just fucking look at him. But anyway, the reason why he comes in at more of a lower spot on this list is probably because I just don't remember, like, anything about you. I mean, I don't remember much about any of the Wisteria professors. I mean, probably should have looked back at the dialogue before starting this video. Oh, well. That, you know, things happen. Th things are kind of just the way they are sometimes. But Thaddeus, Thaddeus, God, your name. It's so hot, but oh man, look at his eye, dude. He's so cute. He's so cute. Okay, hands down though, hands down, <laughs> he has the best classroom. I mean, the purple is just amazing. Like, I don't know, it's just so vibrant and like the yellow and everything. That's really cool. Also, these columns, like, I remember walking in here for the first time, just being like, holy shit. Like, look at these new graphics mechanics and everything. Like, this is impressive, Thaddeus. I really like these, these water columns that you've like morphed to your will and everything. Like, that's just so fucking awesome. Also, he's got a little kiddie pool back here. I don't really know what you what, what you're planning to do with this. I'm not I'm not really looking forward to what you're planning to do with this, but uh but yeah, Thaddeus. <laughs> Absolute Chad though. Look at those fucking muscles. He should have been on the hottest NPCs list. Okay. No, but seriously, Thaddeus, I don't really remember much of your dialogue. I just don't remember much about you. Like the, nothing sticks in my head uh, like regarding your iconic dialogue. I mean like Halston Halston, the other Storm Professor, you know, he's got that, like, iconic release your inner thunder line, you know, and you're just not really releasing my inner thunder, you know, if you know what I'm saying. Anyway, Thaddeus, you, you're coming in at this spot. I'm done here. <laughs> Let's move on to the next professor. Coming up next is going to be the professor of the School of Ember, Anku, Ankanu, Anku? I, <laughs> these fucking names, dude. How the fuck is he making this stick float? What the, what the, is that a match? I guess that's just, like, a giant match if you really think about it. Is that his wand? Because, like, obviously he doesn't have one in his hand. Okay. <sighs> School of Ember, guys. We have... We have Anku. I'm just gonna call you Anku, okay? We've got Anku here. And honestly, similar to Thaddeus Price. I mean, he's not much of a Chad. Like, he kind of has a feeble body and everything. I mean, I like the Skechers he has. You know, where he's, I like the Skechers he's working with there. I... <laughs> <laughs> These people have such weird designs. It's so weird how they do the Wisteria Professors. You know, they just take a random mob out of, like, a world and just put some clothes on it. I, I love it. It's it's amazing. Obviously, probably my favorite manda in the game. Actually, no, that's not true. That goes to Hetch Aldeem and Crocotopia, the purple man. But, you know, you're definitely a close second. I mean... Oh, you just missed it. He... <laughs> He, um, he grabbed his match down for a second, then he put it back here. You know, Anku, I just don't really know much about you. You know, it's a similar situation to Thaddeus Price and everything. You know, your columns, I'm honestly just gonna start rating these Wisteria professors on how cool their columns are. It's just not great, like, it's like a little charred piece of wood, or like, rock, or something. I think that's wood, actually. That kind of looks like a burnt tree with some scorch marks in it. I mean, the rest of your classroom, though, you know, it looks pretty sweet. I'm, I'm always a fan, you know, of the fire school and everything. Obviously, my main wizard and everything like that. But, you know, the orange and the yellow, it, it works It works quite well. And, I mean, the uniforms for your students, they're not my favorite. But the crimson, it ain't bad, okay, Anku? You're doing an okay job. That's why you came in at an okay spot on this tier list. Seriously, guys, how is he doing that? How is he doing that? Coming up next, we have Mega Chad Supreme, a.k.a. Quentin Verbal here. Honestly, gobblers are really just like some of my favorite like mobs in the entire game And I mean the fact that they put a fucking powdered wig on this one as well as like the graduation hat and everything And just the graduation robe. I just <laughs> I can't man He's probably the most prestigious gobbler in the spiral and I don't know how prestigious that actually is considering the gobblers are not too bright But honestly a pretty cool classroom. I mean god, that's so weird how Damn, that, that symbol is actually really similar to the ice school symbol. I mean, go figure, right? But anyway, the pillars, a very, very important part of ranking these guys because I just don't know that much about them. They're just ice. You know, it's okay. It's okay. It would have been a little bit cooler if I could see my reflection in the ice as I walked by them. You know, King's Isle, that, that, that would have been cool to put in the game. But anyways, Quentin, you're a pretty sexy motherfucker. I mean, those shoes, though... They need a little bit of work, I'm gonna be honest here. Also, I just realized, <laughs> with the Wisteria Professors, they don't have, like, the chalk, like, auto-drawing on their little blackboard there. Okay, that's that's weird. But Quentin Burble, I mean, come on. Like, you could take me out to dinner anytime. I mean, seriously, like, just... Yeah, th those teeth, I... They turn me on, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know why every single one of my videos turns into a Honest NPC video. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna not waste any more time here. Uh, Quentin Burble, the professor of... What, what was it? Actually, I'm gonna look. Is it Frost? Hold on, I actually want to see this here. Was it Frost Magic? I don't remember. Okay, it didn't show. I'm pretty sure it was Frost, though. God, I'm gonna get this wrong. God, I'm gonna get screamed at in the comments. It's fine, we're gonna move on to the next one. Coming up next is Dolly Salvador, and she's never really said a word to me, and my introverted ass honestly appreciates that. You know, honestly, I'm not really sure why 
a lot of Wisteria professors are super mega chads, but Hieronymus Bunch is... Oh, oh, oh god. Oh, just look at him. I mean, he's a yeti. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? He, he's a yeti and oh my god, I just realized. Oh, that's so pretty. Like the little designs on the... Oh, I love that. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I don't, I'm not really sure. Um, I'm not really sure what this guy's on though, to be honest. Your, your students, I'm not really sure what you've been giving them, but honestly, I need some right about now. But Hieronymus Bunch, my god, you are a yeti dressed in a suit with a scarf and a top hat. <laughs> Dude, I just, I cannot. Obviously the most civilized yeti in all of the spiral. He comes in pretty high on this list here. I mean, god. What is it? Uh, I, I believe the, I believe the school's name is the School of Chaos, I think? I, I, I honestly, I really need to pay more attention when I'm walking through these doors here. But I honestly just don't want to go out because I hate going outside. But Hieronymus Bunch, Professor of Chaos, I do believe. Honestly, dude, mega chad. Mega, mega, mega chad. <laughs> I know I said that for Quentin Burble, and I said that for, god, probably some other one. But seriously, it's just, honestly, he's a really unique professor, in my opinion. Really, really unique design here. I mean, we don't get a lot of yetis with clothes in the spiral, so you're pretty unique. I mean, I'll be honest, like, it does follow the Wisteria, you know, copy and paste method of just <laughs> copy and pasting a mob, giving it clothes and everything. He looks to be a little bit under the weather. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that, dude. I, I hope you get better soon, honestly. I hope you get better. Anyways, that is it for Hieronymus Bunch, this professor of chaos. Honestly, a very fitting NPC to represent chaos, but anyway, let us move on to the next professor. Coming in as my favorite professor, though, of Wisteria in all of the land is going to be the professor of Dope Kush himself, Trest Chester Drawers here. Honestly, the reason why I put him here, I actually have a real reason, okay? That, not th This whole video isn't for comedic reasons, although a lot of my videos are, but Chester Drawers, I'm actually going to put you at number one because you were actually a fairly interesting character. Like, you were the only professor that we actually, like, did something with in Wisteria. Like, you were the only one that actually, like, played a role in the grand scheme of things, and honestly, I gotta give you a ton of points for that because that is a lot more than the rest of the professors did. You know, you were the only one that was not totally, utterly useless, and we actually got to fight you in your classroom up there, which was which was pretty cool and everything. I'm actually just gonna go in here real quick, and yeah, it is Professor of Earth Magic, I know, but honestly, classroom, not bad. Actually, I would rate it higher because this is just absolutely sick, you know, like this this room that you could go that that you get to go into with all the vines and everything, and you just come into a whole room with like vines and leaves and everything like that. That's just awesome in my opinion. I really really like that. But Chester drawers, you you gotta. I mean, come on. You have to be at the number one spot. You are, hands down, the best professor in Wisteria. Literally just the most interesting one. I mean, we get to fight you, which is very, very interesting. And you're actually pretty integral to the plot with your whole, you know, Forrest Grump corrupting your, you know, body and everything like that. And, you know, turning you against people. That was really, really interesting. I, I really like to see that, Chester. And I expect more from you in the future. But, you know, guys, that's really gonna be it for this video. I really hope you guys did not, did not enjoy. God, that... <laughs> Talking is really hard sometimes. I really hope you guys did enjoy. You know, I, I, I don't hope that you didn't enjoy because that, that wouldn't make sense. Why am I making these videos in the first place? But I really hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you could leave a like down below or subscribe. And maybe, just maybe, I'll do Arcanum Professors next. If, if you guys want to see that, let me know down below if you guys, you know, enjoyed, you know, videos like this. I, I don't know why you would, but I guess some people do. So why not, right? <laughs> but anyways, that's going to be all from me, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure to tell Chester Drawers bye on your way out. Maybe say hi to him once in a while. It probably gets lonely, you know, standing outside among all these pigs, you know. So, you know, just, just, just say hi to him once in a while. Anyways, that'll be all from me. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I will see you all in the next one. Take care, guys, and peace out.